And this video is just going through a question from the uh, GCSE AQA paper one uh, from 2021. So it's um, a paper one is all about programming and algorithms. So this was um, a, a question which talked about two subroutines. So if you remember a subroutine in programming, uh, a separate piece of code that you can uh, call and will either return you a value if it's a function or um, execute a piece of code if it's just a procedure. So it says that get BPM returns the athlete's heart rate in beats per minute from an external input device. So we don't need to know how that works. Um, that's an idea of abstraction. So it's abstracted from us. We don't need to know. We just need to know that that returns us um, a numerical idea of a heart rate. And then we've got another one that's wait for N um, seconds. So this is a, called a parameter. So we send this gets a parameter sent to it, which in this case is a number of seconds, and it causes the algorithm to pause for n number of seconds. So here's the algorithm on this side. Um, so it's got some line numbers that they put on the paper to try and uh, help you with answering some of the questions. They don't actually have anything to do with the code. State the most appropriate data type for the variable seconds. Well, we've got seconds here where it's initialized as um, a zero, it's used down here where we add 60 onto it there. Um, so integer seems reasonable. Whole numbers. So integer seems okay for that. Uh, explain why rest could have been defined as a constant. Our constant's um, a value that, uh, it's a, a, an identifier that takes a value when it's declared and it doesn't change throughout the whole program. So rest, is declared here with a value of 50 and it's not changed throughout the program so so because uh, rest is not changed during the execution of the algorithm Seems a reasonable answer. So we could say something about um, it being declared with a value that never changes. So that's the, the definition of a constant is when it's created, it takes a value and that value never changes. So iteration, this is a, a fairly standard question from these. It's we, we should be getting these okay. So state the line number where iteration is first used. So iteration is some form of looping um, so they've written this in pseudocode, so there's a repeat until loop here. Um, so if you if you program Python, you won't be um, too familiar with repeat until uh, because they only really do while, uh, but it's the same kind of idea. So this will keep running this code until this value here is more than 200. So uh, the, the first use is line three. So that's line three. So then if we move to the next bit, and I've just repeated the algorithm to help us out here, we've got a trace table to complete. So they've done some of the trace table for us. So where it's a BPM, they've given us the inputs for that because we wouldn't have known those anyway. Uh, and they've set seconds to zero, which it is there. So rest as we know is 50, but that's not on this table and that's sensible because uh, we only really use a trace table to show the change in variables and rest um, is actually as we've already discussed could be a constant so we'll go through the algorithm and see what uh, what happens for us so we've got beats per minute gets bpm and that is 70 so effort takes the value of beats per minute which is 70 at the moment minus rest which is 50 so uh, effort's going to be 20 We'll just write that in. And then the next line, if effort is less than or equal to 30, what it is, because it's 20, we're going to output faster. So we'll output faster there. So there's there's no else because we've done that. So no else there. In that case, um, we're waiting here for 60. So we're just sending 60 to this um, procedure that helps us to wait. And then seconds get seconds plus 60. So seconds was zero, it's now 60. 
So until seconds is greater than 200, well, it isn't. It's only, um, it is only 60. So we're going to go back up to the repeat line here. We're on the second uh, loop through. So beats per minute gets BPM. So that's 80 now. So if um, rather effort gets BPM minus rest. So we're now, we've got 80 minus 50. So we're up to 30. And if it's less than or equal to 30, then we're going to output faster. So faster's output again. And again, there's no else there because we've done this one. Uh, so we've got wait 60 seconds, get seconds plus 60. So seconds is up to 120 now. Until seconds is greater than 200, well, it isn't because it's only 120. So we're going to go back up here. And the next beats per minute is 100. So 100 minus 50 is 50 so if effort is less than 30 well no it isn't else if the effort is less than or equal to 50 yes it is so we're going to output steady so we output steady there that else doesn't apply we go down here wait 60 seconds get seconds plus 60 so we're up to 180 seconds now so we're still not over 200 so we're going to go up again so our beats per minute is now 120. So 120 minus our 50 is now 70. So it's not less than 30. It's not less than or equal to 50. So we're going to output slower. So we're going to slow, slow down that running. Output slower. Um, end or if end, wait 60, add six, 60 seconds, uh, brings us to 240 seconds. So until seconds is more than 200, it is. So that means we stop, we don't loop anymore, and we finished our uh, output. So our seconds went 0, 60, 120, 180, 240 at the end. Beats per minute where they gave to us. Our effort was 20, 30, 50, 70. And our outputs were faster, faster, steady and slower. And so that was the trace table.